This simple feature is a game changer for diode lasers. Today, we're going to have a closer look at the TS2 from Two Trace. This is a premium grade laser engraver and cutter with at least three features that makes this laser great. First of all, the general features of the machine. It has a dual beam laser that gives you a combined laser power of 10 watts that works great for both cutting and engraving. It has a working area of 450 by 450 millimeters and a max engraving speed of 10,000 millimeters per minute. Features such as cleverly placed drive chains, a very rigid and solid frame, and end stops that allows you to home the machine are just some of the features that make this machine premium. But in our review of this machine, we would like to focus on the three best parts that really makes it great. Starting with the most important one is the autofocus feature. More advanced CO2 lasers also has this feature, but this is the first time we see it on a diode laser. You've probably seen other diode lasers that has a distance gauge that allows you to lower the laser to a specific height over the laser bed. This is often a built-in gauge you flip down or a separate object that you're supposed to rest the laser on. So why is this a game changer that you now can do this in the software instead of doing it manually? To understand why this is a big deal, we must first have a look at how lasers work. All 10 watt lasers has two laser diodes that each output about five watts. By combining these two laser beams, you get a total output of 10 watts. But this beam is too wide to be able to engrave or cut properly. So we need to focus the laser with lens. This lens focuses all the power on a compressed spot that can both engrave and cut. But on the other side of this spot, the laser becomes unfocused again and loses its focused power and its ability to cut. When you engrave, you want that focus point to be on the very top of the material. But when you cut, you want the focus to be deeper into the material. And the thicker material you cut, the deeper you want the focus to be into the material. Here we see the difference between setting the height for engraving and cutting. The difference is several millimeters. If you have a fixed distance gauge, how do you accurately lower the laser with, for instance, three millimeters? And especially without moving the material if you have engraved it first. This is why doing it all from your software is so great. Focus for engraving first, then change the height for cutting. As you can see, the laser is very powerful as well. Note that we are also using the air pump from Two Trees. That's why all the cuts are so clean. Cutting 5mm plywood in just one pass. If you turn off the pump, the results will not look as good. The next great feature of laser is the open sides. This allows you to place materials much easier without always having to move the laser head. And you can also place wider items in the laser as well. This might seem like a small feature, 
but not having to squeeze your materials in is a great feature that makes the laser so much easier to work with on a daily basis. The laser is also powerful enough to engrave stainless steel. Here, the laser is running at 3000 mm per minute at 100% power. And a third great feature is the fact that both the y-axes are linked. We often move the laser head around, and on many lasers, only one of the sides is connected to the stepper motor. Then it's easy to misalign the sides, and if you ever have to redo a cut, the machine will match on one side, but you're going to end up with double lines on the other side. Then it's time to engrave and cut 3mm black acrylics. This is a really great and innovative machine. We give it the thumbs up.